Hey everybody, welcome back to the Damn Music Show. We're going to do another Spotify Spotlight, right? Yes, sir. All you right. say it smoother than I do. Say it smoother. I'm not going to lie, uh, I really slowed it down because I saw what happened before <laughs> they did it. So Spotify Spotlight. Spotlight. All right, um, so I get to pick today. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to do, we're gonna do War on Drugs, uh, a song off their m- most recent album called Clean Living. So to be clear, the name of the band is War to on Drugs. To be clear. Yeah, to be clear. To be clear. Uh, the name of the band is War on Drugs. So what happens if drugs become completely legal? Are they going to have to change the name of that's, their band? That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That's what I would know. You know, the question, I uh, the, the timeline on that, they're probably safe. Yeah. They're probably safe. But then they might just have to be the war on. Yeah, I think it should be War on Drugs. Eh. Eh. That's just... It's all a- it's all legal. It. Everything's fair games. Yeah, I, I mean Texas is moving that way, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit. They should go full Larry David. War on drug. Eh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. The name of the song. Uh, clean living. Clean yeah. living. Yep. That's, uh, it's aptly titled. Mm-hmm. Are all their titles of their songs related to the war on drugs? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Uh, I'm really well, curious. Right. We don't need it. Wait, no, no. Hey, I, I just want to pull up like. Five titles like, of the name. Do they names. have a song called Just Say No? <laughs> what is that? What's the other one? Dare? They have another <laughs> song called Dare? Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, War on Drugs. Well, I guess it's going to take a while. Well, I think they've... I actually do think they have a song called Red Eye. Oh. So you got to be... Ki- I wonder... Have you figured it out? Like, did you crack the code? Yes. On camera? Yes. <laughs> war on drugs. Artist, war on drugs. It's called, one's called Use Clarosel Before You Get Home. <laughs> Use, on the ride back. Like uh, under the Pressure, Thinking of a Place, Holding On. Okay, they break it, but Red Eyes is their number one. Okay. And Clean Living is the song I'm showing today, and the All song right. is War on Drugs. Okay, uh, why don't we... Yeah. Oh, I love it. Why Just don't we curious. have a little listen, yeah? Yep. Okay, here we go. Instrumental, and I do like the uh, the beginning that that, that heartbeat kick. Is that the bass or? I'm I'm really glad you noticed it. That yeah. to me is something that really seals well, it the deal. It's a kick. For this song, I would think. I agree. This it's is so the well first done. time I ever heard this song. Yeah. As I said, I, there's a new style of singing you were talking about the other day. I mean, for me, he's not very clear. I hear a lot of super unclear. I, yeah. Is that? What's you gotta look up about? his lyrics. I mean, to me, that's nothing new. Let's journey back and let's go with just start with Bob Dylan. Okay. And then let's just <laughs> let's just weigh down the list. I still can't understand what Neil said. Right. Uh, I mean, we could just. I mean, the list goes on forever. Nobody knows what the Stones are right. saying. Nobody yeah. knows. Yeah. I'll never leave your pizza burning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay. 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 Yes. So a little bit hard to hear. Definitely raspy, breathy style yeah. vocals. Yeah, he's definitely going for. Somber mood and tone. Yeah, sure. for yep. sure. Or he cool. just is, which I think is yeah. very valid. Up more, shall we? Yeah, we okay, let's do it. To me, a really great use of orchestration and patience. In the end, was a red light shining. Shining on.
has the it has that sort of drum fill, and then the that pickup, the, the pickup. <laughs> yes, I call that get off the couch moment. That's Let's like, go. Uh, yeah, he's. I picture him thinking about his life, and he's got to get something to accomplish. He's, uh, you know, pondering the the more important, serious things about life, and you mm-hmm. hear that drum fill, and he's like. Today's the day I'm going to do it. And gets okay. off. That's how I always feel on songs like this. I, I'll says, tell you, I think you're right too, because it says that lyric is that, that is a pivotal moment when the lyrics go from reflective yeah. to "But I never went away, babe. Show me how you do it. I've been looking all night. I go away and back." So it becomes much more present. So it starts. His story starts catching up to his dialogue, which is exactly what you're saying. I can't hear one hurt word he said yet. So I'm going strictly on the tempo. Yeah. I like it. I yeah. like it. Uh, okay, more. Yeah. We we cooking now. The song's yeah, the song's starting to go. Those texturing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that texturing. The song obviously is very well crafted musically, I think. Uh, the challenge for me is, uh, you know, I like to connect with songs, and I, I not being able to hear the lyrics clearly is yeah. a challenge for me to connect yeah. uh, with the song. It's definitely, most songs are mood songs, but this one is a particularly mood song, which is what I mean by that, it's designed to create a mood. It's not my particular cup of tea, yeah. but I, I really respect the craftsmanship that yeah. they put all the pieces together you have that deeper heartbeat bass line and you know the little guitar riffs are definitely higher on the register so they're staying out of each other's way a little bit yeah uh, yeah and I, I think yeah. it's a comment i hear a lot too and i i for me it's extremely polar and it's like one or the other people either don't really care about lyrics or words yeah. or they live by it there's yeah. a funny comedian that's like uh he's like look look i've solved it well, that's the well. You have a band called War on Drugs, yeah. and then you have a song "Clean Living." It sounds like you have something to say on the subject. Yeah. So say something on the subject that we can hear. <laughs> don't don't hide under. Yes. It. Uh, I think he'd probably go, "Hey, I really can't sing any different, so it just is what it is." Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, there's a funny comedian that says uh, that says uh, I, I figured out why white people can't dance. Uh, and it's strictly because that they're trying to dance to the lyrics. Yes. I think <laughs> back in black. I hit the set. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. I it's the Chris beat. Rock. Dance to the Maybe beat. Is it, is it? Is it? Right? Well, if Nancy Reagan would just said, mm, just, no, it wouldn't have been as good. So if you have something to say on a subject, and say it. I like it. I like it. Uh, and and the, the lyricists you show me, really clear, really clean. You know exactly what they're saying. There's no... Uh, obscurity to it. There's nothing, nothing obscure about it. It's yeah. like, it's like I'm gonna follow you down. How long is this song? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna speed up a little okay. bit because it's no, a no, long no. song. The reason I asked is because you know today's world is like two minutes and fifty seconds long. This is one of the reasons. This is that, a more recent song. This is one of the reasons that I love, and it's a conversation that I think is worth having. <clears throat> this is one of the most popular bands in the world right now. Yeah, uh, and all their songs four, six, seven, eight minutes. Yeah, which is nothing very unusual that. today. They're jam bandy, so. The reason I love this song, one, is because uh, the really, for me, here's my here's my gist, man. You can you can ruin a song with bad lyrics for me. Right. You can ruin it, uh, and 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 in a certain extent, you can't have a great song without great lyrics for me. Now that doesn't mean there's one style of great lyrics. Right. Shake your booty is a great lyrically poignant yeah. song. I stay up too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I go on to the dates. I mean, fantastically. Right. Great. So for me, this is a, the, War on Drugs is a vibe. It's a vibe. They, it transports me uh, like some of the best things in the world uh, that take you out of your brain. Right. Uh, and then when I went back to look at their lyrics, oh my gosh, he hit it home. Yeah, like, that's cool. And so I was only more validated. So I was, or they were only more validated for me when I was just like, 
man, your your structure kills it. Your vibe kills it. I'm in. I'm feeling. One, I'm one day we're it. gonna have to get like a scientist or a doctor in here and and have them explain. If you if you know what the lyrics are, you can hear them better. If you, you right, you know what? Have you ever noticed that? Oh, it's for like sure. If you read it and you're like, oh, I I understand every word he's saying. It and seems if, really clear. After you read it one time, you can hear every word. He had like a, a phrase in there. When I took the train up to see you, everything that I couldn't change. Yeah, I couldn't understand that for like right. my between his, anything, and then I read it. I was like, oh, that's super clear. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's let's go to. They've got like a solo. Let's do. We'll just do a chunk of the solo, cool. and then we'll keep moving. So this is the whole middle vibe. Great for live setups. And like if I'm cooking, if I'm cooking dinner. I love this. If you go to this kind of go to this kind of concert, people sitting or standing. Do what? If you go to a concert of these guys, are the people going to be standing or sitting? Oh, yeah, definitely standing. Really? Definitely standing. Okay. Oh, absolutely. It's like a slow stand, though, right? Okay. It's like a, it's like a little bit like, no, nobody in this crowd is quite present to the concert, right. if that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, let's go forward to here. I love their licks. I love their texturing. Their, that drum fill, da 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 yeah. doubled by the bass. Fantastic. Really, I feel like they came into themselves. It pretty much just trips out <clears throat> throughout the rest of it. I mean, that is, so, that's the bulk of the song. There's not really a chorus to an extent. There right. is, but it doesn't feel like it. It's uh, not as formulaic as some other songs. It is too. not as typical, right. for, typically formulaic, which so I do Are love. they pro-clean living or anti-clean living? I'm not sure. I think it's a great It's a great question. Yeah. I would be very curious on the research. Probably at one day they weren't, and now yeah. they're here. They're a rock band, so they won uh, the Grammy for rock. This is the rock album and you of don't the have year. to be pro or a con, anything, you just, uh, just to make an observation or make a statement about it. Does it surprise right. you right. that this is the song on rock album of the year of the Grammys last year? No, okay. Well, I'm embarrassed. I don't know that. That's Does it awesome. surprise you? That, like, because when I I know when I heard That's... that, I was like, rock, rock. Uh, this is like indie uh... alt. All right, future segment. It's uh, who should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and who shouldn't. There we go. I have a whole uh, kinds of opinions of Madonna and Whitney Houston being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But anyway, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we digress. It yeah. seemed like a no was maybe the answer. Yeah, of course the answer. Oh my is no. gosh, bold! You just put Whitney Houston uh, out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. How how main one Whitney Houston rock song. Okay, they're, they're, so you're saying a, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But I think the Rock and Roll, what, we got to find the definitive answer of like what is the Rock and Roll all right, Hall of Fame. All right, next segment. But yes, <laughs> yeah. if you want to put them in the Music Hall of Fame, that's fine, but not the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, fair. I guess, I guess fair. I, uh, they that, the Stones and the Hip Hop They are. That is truly like uh, Houston, adult contemporary. Yes. Adult contemporary. Which is not rock. Which is... Not rock. It's correct. You just correct. said it's, it's own, adult contemporary. It's its own, it's its own <laughs> class. But you can have some rock in adult contemporary. Okay. Moving on. So, uh, War on Drugs. That's it. Clean Living by the War on Drugs. I think yeah. that's it. It's on Spotify. Listen to it now. Yeah. Spotify.